Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to add content collections to Astro. So if we look at my screen here, I've been working on a little site um, that gives you creative limitations to build better products. And all this really means is I've come up with some simple challenges where if you ever run into a creative roadblock and you want to get out of that rut, um, you can take on a challenge. And what they are is just they add constraints to the way that you build something. So for instance, this first example is called Astro Lock. You build an Astro project, but you have to keep it under a certain number of lines of code. Um, another one is to build a Flutter app with only three dependencies. And they all kind of follow that pattern where it's like adding some other restrictions onto the project, and then you have to figure out how to build it. So this is an Astro site, so it's following this Astro Lock challenge. Um, and I have a few content collections already. For one, I have a challenges collection where I'm putting all the challenges here with a title and a description. And then I have a blog collection where each blog has a title, description, some tags, a date when it was posted. And then I want to add a third collection down here. So I have a gallery. Um, people can hit this little share your project button and they can send me what they're working on and tell me what uh, challenge it is part of. And so what I want to do is take those submissions and then create a gallery down at the bottom here. So that's the goal. And now what we're going to do is jump over to VS Code. I have my Astro project open. And on the left here, there is a content folder. This is where you're going to add each collection. And the key is you have to have a top level folder for each collection you want. So you can see I have one for blogs, one for challenges. And then now what I'm going to do is create another one for projects. So this is step one. Step two is to open up this config.ts file. And if you don't have one, you'll have to create it. Um, and you'll see here that I've defined a few collections already. If you're doing this from a blank file, you'll have to import this defined collection method from Astro content. And then you'll have to create a new collection here. I have my new projects collection already created and it looks something like this. Um, the important parts here is the schema. And inside the schema, you define what properties your items need to have. Um, all these content collections use Zod under the hood, which is just this TypeScript framework for defining um, the types of an object. And so you can see that you can use strings. You can say that this string must be a URL. You can define arrays, enums, numbers, dates, basically anything you need. Um, once you have this collection, then you have to export it. So this is the third step. You export it as part of this collections object. And now we can jump into our new folder. Here, we're going to create a file. And the name of the file is just going to be the name of the item that you're working on. Um, in this case, my first one is going to be my website, launchthrifty.md. And how this works is you add these three lines at the top, um, which defines this front matter. And then you define the properties of this item. So we can see that I have all of the required items. I have a title, URL, image, and the challenge type. Um, cool. I'm going to add one more. This is going to be the project I saw the other day on Twitter that inspired me to make this website. It was called, actually it was called Ramen Profitability. So I'm going to add in the details for this item um, called Ramen Profitability. Here's the URL. Added a different image and then the name of the challenge. So now we have two items in our collection. Um, I'm going to close this out over here. And then we're going to jump to our pages. So now that we have the collection, we want to be able to read it. And I'm going to do that on the index file. You can see that I'm already reading from my challenges collection. Um, so I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to replace it with projects. So this get collection method is also built into Astro. Um, content collections are native to the Astro framework, so there's a lot of cool tools that you can use to, to read from them. Um, now that I have my projects, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and find my gallery section. So I'm going to paste it here. I already had it built out. Um, but I will show you the, the cool parts. So I have my projects 
collection here, which is all of the projects in that collection. And then I'm just mapping over it and then using the data on each item to create my UI. So when you click on it, you'll go to the URL. In order to get to the data, you have to use this uh, dot data like property. Here we go. I have the two projects that I added are now here and show you can see the pictures and so on. If I click on this, it's going to take me to the real launch thrifty on the live web. Um, but I'll go back to localhost where it's where it's safe. And so yes, that is all you need to do to be able to store um, content in your Astro project easily. Uh, I can show you just my other collections that I have set up. Uh, here's our challenges collection, which is similar to projects. It has a title, description, rules, um, a link to the associated blog post. And then I have blogs. Here, I did things a little bit differently. I grouped each of my, I basically put each individual item into its own folder. And the reason I did that is because these, these files have Markdown in them and they reference uh, images. And so I like to group the Markdown and the images in one place. If I had them all um, inside this blogs folder directly, the images would get mixed up. I'd have to be really specific about how I'm naming things. But now that they're grouped into their own folders, it's pretty easy to just, um, yeah, paste the images in and they'll get added here. The cool thing about content collections is that each item can have Markdown and you can render that directly into Astro. So if I go back over to my app and click on one of these challenges, you can see what that looks like. So I'm taking, I have Markdown in my collection items and then there's a render method in Astro and you can just render it out onto screen. So that's pretty cool. So if we do a quick review of what, what happened, we have a content folder in our Astro project. We're going to create a new collection at the top level here. And then inside of it, we're going to add our our collection items. In the config.ts file, we have to define what each item in that collection looks like. And then we have to remember to export that collection as part of this collections object. And then in our pages, whenever we want to read items from a collection, we use this get collection method from Astro. So that's all for this video. Um, as I'm building out this project, I'll probably have a few other things that I want to share. So stay tuned.